and I had a boy about the same age as me turn to me and say, Ooh, what happened to your face? And I looked him dead in the eye and I said, um, I've got a horrible disease that you'll catch if I breathe on you. And then I went, <laughs> and he ran off screaming. Why don't you just get plastic surgery? Oh, God. It's, it's really not as easy as just getting plastic surgery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate this question, because then you have to explain to them that you are fine. You could spend thousands of pounds and so much of your time going to see a doctor, getting like as much surgery or treatment or like... Spend... And that would become your entire life. Yeah, like what, you couldn't do anything else. You would literally just spend all your time in hospital or I'd in bed. I'd be so or... miserable. I'd be so bored. What happened to you? I started to get bored of telling people what happened and I started to make stuff up. It was a diving accident. I was the only one that survived. I'd saved kids from a fire and stuff. I also told a kid once that um, if they lied, that they'd start to look like me. I don't actually mind people asking me this question. I love it. I would prefer to just tell people the truth and then just assuming something. Everyone's too polite. Yeah. And they think that it's a bad thing to ask someone what happened or it's a bad thing to ask people questions. Um, and it's not. There's lots of different types of staring, I think. And then there's an awkward moment, isn't it, where you sort of, you, you clock them <laughs> and they've clocked you. And it's like, what are you going to do? There's the one where they stare at you and when you look back at them, they pretend not to it's, stare. Yeah. Or there's a thing where you walk down the street and you can see someone and you know, you can see in your peripheral vision that they're looking as you walk past. I'm not really keen on going out into town because I, you know, when you've got people walking past like that and you can see they, they look and you can tell that they, they're making their initial assumptions about you and then they're just moving on. OK. I know something that will help. People say, oh, you should try this. I read in the newspaper last week that mm. if you do this, that your scars will go. No, I don't think your cream is going to work. Your aloe vera juice isn't going to work. <laughs> like, oh, bio oil. Yeah, oh, bio oil. Bio oil. Bio oil, bio oil doesn't work. <laughs> bio oil doesn't work. <laughs> I've had complete strangers ask me this. I actually like got a decent boyfriend after I got my scar. Yeah, up until, honestly, up until that point, I just attracted absolute, like my type was like, I don't know, commitment issues, like absolute dickheads. I don't have a boyfriend now, um, which is a bit sad, but I just don't think my husband would approve. <laughs> I was in hospital for quite a long time, um, and it wasn't until maybe four months after my accident that I got to see what my face looked like yeah. and like I'll be honest I cried for weeks about it. In some ways yes because I don't like the way it affects my eyes, I don't like the way um, it affects my vision. But then I sort of came to the conclusion that well that's that and I can't change it at all. It might improve but it's never going to go away. So I sometimes think I, I probably would have been an absolute dick if it didn't happen to me. Well, it might have been. <laughs> it gives you like ammunition, I guess. Yeah, because yeah. you'll be like with a bunch of girls and they'll be like, oh, I've got a spot. Oh, like, my oh. hair. Like, oh, yeah. I hate my hair. Like, oh, I've got like a really big chin. Oh, my I'm nose like... is so big. Yeah. Everyone I've ever met looks different. Everyone I've ever met has a different personality, a different hairstyle, different clothing, different uh, wants and needs. And the, the, the term normal is a very abnormal term. It makes me more interesting. Yeah, like, look at all these other, like, boring humans. Like, we're, we're quite, like, yeah. unique. Yeah, we're way more interesting. <laughs> Who wants to be friends with a normal human? <laughs>